Hey everybody, I'm Manny. Welcome back to my channel, Soka Shave. So today is going to be a shaving video, as I promised from your um, my recent unboxing that I posted up, uh, my gift, my birthday gift for my wife, and it's going to be the last shave in this den um, because uh, in the f um, within this next week or so we should be already unpacked, unboxed, and moved into our new home. So I am thrilled, I'm happy, uh, things have gone in the direction we've prayed about. Um, and uh, like I keep saying, things are looking up. So I uh, thank you for all your great comments, you guys, and your positive energy that you guys sent towards our way. I really do appreciate it. it all it does is lift us up and makes our day uh, even better. And uh, it's, it's fantastic, I love it, man. So thank you guys very much. So without further ado, let's get into the shave. So, as you all saw, um, I got this in the uh, mail the other day. Paul Mall from Phoenix and Bow. So I'm gonna try that today. I have it blooming here. I'm using um, Carrie's methods. I am blooming the soap. Um, here we go, and we're gonna use the 24 millimeter finest badger from. Uh, Macedo shaving. Let me ring that out for you. Y'all can see that. So that's that. We're going to go with the uh, Rockwell. And it is on. The setting, uh oh, upside down. The R4 setting, the setting R4 play. I apologize. And I have a derby blade in there, and this is going to be its third use on this blade. If so y'all can see that in the back, it's only got two. This will be the third. And let me go ahead and show you that now. There you go. So I got the front facing camera here on today um, so I can do this uh, shave justice. And then we're gonna follow it up with the um, lemon witch hazel. Since it does have, if you all can see on the label here, it does have a lemon um, um, scent to it. And I'm gonna follow it up with the Gables Lime, the Gables Drops of Lime. Um, here we go. Gables Drops of Lime. This is a after um, a barbershop um, aftershave uh, scent. So this is really good. Um, it, it is an actual uh, barbershop uh, lemon scented aftershave. So I do got my pug blooming here. Gonna pour the bloom water into this into my bowl so I can add it out later and let me go ahead and load the brush I'm gonna wring all, all the water and then add as I go so how's your guys' day been going? mine is going great I can't wait to go ahead and finish this process because I have, you know, many of you know, you know, we all hate moving, packing, moving, and then unpacking again, and reorganizing and putting up. Oh, Jesus. It's going to be a long couple of weeks. So, this thing is loading up nice, guys. And I'm not pushing down, I'm just loading the tips. This stuff, this stuff looks creamy, really creamy. Now, like I said on my last video, I'm very picky with scents. This scent is not as bad as I thought, you know. <laughs> it would be because I was scared because I'm um, not that he makes bad scents or anything. Uh, this is my first soap that he had that I've bought from him. Um, so it has nothing to do with that. My thing is just uh, this is the first soap I've pulled the trigger on uh, Without actually getting a chance to smell it. So like I said on my video, 
and let me pull what's on the rim here oh this stuff looks great and I probably should have shown you I apologize that this is a brand new soap obviously coming from that uh, well-known um, store people buy from I posted the label it's my first time buying from them but I've heard nothing but good things from them so there's plenty there I can probably just you know shave with that but let me go ahead and throw some of this bloom water on my face Yeah, so like I was saying, I'm not going to mention very much about the scent of the soap because I want to continue using it and see how the scent develops, see how the scent um, See how the scent um, grows on me. Great, great! Look at that. Jesus, that is that is fantastic. And I am gonna be face lathering today. I'm not. I'm not used to this um, camera setup, you guys. So hopefully, I stay in in uh, camera angle. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna add some of this fantastic bloom water. And I most likely may have loaded too heavy, but what better than to make sure the soap performs well? Some more. I'm gonna keep adding. I got the my bow right under my chin here on my cheek. So whatever drops off. <laughs> that's not a hair that's an actual soul oh that was a big dip looking really good now okay we'll stop with the water there and it's working in this brush feels like a freaking pillow you can feel the density in it it's got plenty of backbone I love the handle, just the way you're holding the handle. Wow, this stuff is thick. Quick. 
and I got it all over my nose. Let's get on with the shave. I just got hiccups right now, man. Just started. Not a good thing to be having when you're when you're shaving. scab up here the other day you gotta be careful with it so I just had a hot shower just a minute ago or a few minutes ago and it's kind of muggy and steamy in here so I got the AC and the fan blowing so hopefully that doesn't um, come out uh, too um, too What's the word I'm looking for? So it doesn't come out too loud on the camera. Just trimmed up the goatee, so gotta make sure um, the lines are looking nice. So let's go. Well, we're past two. Now 
then we got more room for water. And I'm not pressing in. I may look it, but I'm not. So that's looking good too. On the round two. Pass two of the shave. Okay, second pass, cross grain. Pass two down. some more water a little more on this side yeah Kara you weren't lying about uh, when you said your so it's gonna take nice water. Not nice water. <laughs> that your soaps can take uh, more water.
right, so against the green, third pass. Now it's far for slickness, it's a slick soap, so that's good. Cushion, it's got great cushion. The soap lathers up quick and thick. So all in all, the soap is doing great. I love this razor and blade. It's a great blade and great razor. Yeah, so look at no soap. Great slickness, nice. And I can tell what they're talking about that uh, um, the silk slickness feel. It almost feels like I have like lotion on my face. All right, so let me uh, rinse off so I can do my cleanup pass. so it doesn't look like a freaking mess all right so let's pull what's left out of the brush add it to the face yep
Another good news also is that I have no irritation with the soap. So that's always a plus. I always go slow on my against my um sensitive areas because um the slower I go I can actually feel which way the hair's going. And make make an adjustment on the fly to alleviate uh, that irritation. Now, I don't recommend you trying this at home, guys. If um, you know, I I enjoy my BBS shave. If your skin can take it, then so be it. But I don't recommend it. Alright, so that's that. Let me go ahead and rinse off with warm water and then cold water. Give me a second.
gonna go ahead and throw on the Allen block. Rinse off. Rinse off the brush real quick. shave all right so now we're gonna go in with the um witch hazel thayer's lemon scented Let me go ahead and let that soak in. Gonna um, rinse off my puck. Puck's rinsed off. Gonna go ahead and set it on the side here to start drying. I'm doing this meanwhile, let the uh, theirs go ahead and soak into my skin. Rinse out my bowl. And let me go ahead and show you what I use, guys. Okay, so Phoenix and Bowl. Paul Mall, their take on a barbershop scent with um, with the lemon scent uh, to it. Used my 24 millimeter mustache shaving with a horn. It's a horn uh, type uh, handle, uh, 24 millimeter, 24 millimeter uh, finest badger. Rockwell on the setting four plate, the R4 plate, and the blade that's in there is now its third use. The Derby Extra, the green pack, threw on the Witch Hazel Thayer's or Thayer's Witch Hazel, I'm sorry, uh, lemon scented. And now we're gonna put on Gables Barbershop Scented Lemon Drop to go with the lemon theme or the lemon scented theme. Gonna throw a nice healthy dose on there.
and that stuff smells great. If you guys haven't got a chance to pick one, uh, pick one of those aftershaves up, I highly recommend that you do. It's a really good um, uh, smelling aftershave. Really sweet. It's got like a powdery, a light powdery um, uh, lemon uh, aftershave. And gonna go ahead and throw on this Avita Men aftershave balm. And it's also got a uh, lemon scent to it and it's got um, like a menthol, menthol -y mint uh, scent and feel to it. And it's great, it's great stuff guys. So that's my shave guys, very great shave, really enjoyed that. And hope you all enjoyed it too. And so this is the last time you'll see this shave then guys. So until next time, hope y'all stay safe out there and take care. Later guys.